Hey there, friends. Welcome back to the channel where we make Kajabi simple, actionable, and fun. I'm Rebecca Austin, your Kajabi mentor and conversion coach. And today we're tackling a feature that's guaranteed to make your offers even more seamless for your audience. If you've ever wished you could create a friction-free checkout experience by automatically applying your Kajabi coupons at checkout, well, you're in luck. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that step-by-step. Why is this so powerful? Because the easier you make it for your audience to claim their discount, the more likely they are to complete their purchase. It's this small tweak with a big impact on your conversions. And I can't wait to show you how it's done. And don't forget, if you're ready to get personalized support for your Kajabi business, I'm here to help. Schedule a complimentary coaching session with me today by visiting our website. The link's in the description below, and I'd love to connect with you. Now let's dive into the tutorial and make your Kajabi coupons work smarter for you. Here we are in our Kajabi coupon. Now, this is a side note to this. If you haven't watched our previous video where we did our deep dive into coupons on how to set up coupons, definitely go back and watch that video. There's foundational information that needs to be set up already, including that you have your sales page set up, you have your coupons set up, and you have your offer set up. Payments are already integrated. If you haven't done those things, pause this video, open another tab, jump on over, look at those tutorials, and make sure those items are created before we complete this, since those do need to be created before we get into the steps I'm going to talk about here today. Okay, that being said, once you have your coupon set up, you have your landing page good to go, you have your offers, everything is ready, and you just wanna make it a little more seamless, when we go into our offer, this is our VIP 20. It's a 20% off discount. These are the offers that we have attached this coupon to. Now, you'll notice inside the coupon settings, we do have here this little icon that is our discount link. So we can copy this and you just click on it and it automatically cl copies to your computer um, clipboard, so to speak. So I could actually go to a browser, I can paste this in the browser and it will automatically apply that coupon just through the link. They don't have to enter the discount amount in checkout, it's automatically set up here. So now what we can do is we have this, this coupon link already set up. So what if though, we don't just wanna send out the offer link to our email list, or we don't want to just have the offer link in our social media. We, we want it to go directly to the sales page because generally speaking, in a lot of scenarios where we're trying to do a coupon, it's a colder audience and they're not necessarily 100% ready to buy, which is why we need to have a coupon code that then we talk about, but then they're not. we need to make sure that they're getting the information that's on our sales page that really makes it a no-brainer purchase. If we're sending directly to the checkout page, sometimes there's just not enough information here to tip them over the edge in order for them to say yes. So in those cases, we wanna send them to our landing page so that they can then go in here and they can purchase. So what we're doing then is we, we wanna pull up our landing page, AKA our sales page that has this offer attached to it which as a side note, that was $50, not $400, $50, there we go. So essentially what we are doing, and oh, bonus tip for you while we're here, if you wanted to do this where it's crossing out the previous price and auto applying the new investment price that you are putting on there, we can use a little bit of code in Kajabi. So if you take a look here, it's it's this is the code you would use. So you're using the code strike with those uh, for, greater than less than brackets. And then you wanna do forward slash strike in the, the, the brackets. And then you can just simply type in there what you want it to be. So that's just a little bonus tip for you as well. But what we can do now is on our sales page, instead of on the call to action button, normally we would do go to checkout and then we would select our checkout. But what we can do then is instead of checkout, we can change this to URL and then we paste that same discount already applied URL 
into our checkout. So we're using URL with an order already applied is now the call to action on this page. So now if I were to save this and I click preview and I click on the enroll now button, it's taking me to the discount is already applied. So now they don't have to enter the coupon code. It just takes them in there with a coupon code automatically set up for them. Now in your emails, you can give them the coupon code and then give them the link to the page, but then you, they don't even have to enter it. It's just already there. So now a lot of times what the next question is, well, what if I don't want it to be automatically for my main landing page? We want it only to be on, we want it auto applied, but I don't want everybody to see it. Well, if that's the case, then what you simply do is we go back to our landing pages. We would duplicate this landing page and then you have a separate landing page that you can send to the people that you want the coupon code to be automatically applied. That this is just a, a secret link, so to speak, that you can send them. And that way then everything is seamless for those audience. And then you can have your regular sales page can be wherever you want it to be from a conversion perspective, from a traffic perspective, all of those kind of things. So sometimes this is a really fun tactic to use if you're saying, hey, if you go to my website right now and you click on the purchase through the website, you'll see that it's $50. But if you use this secret link, you can get it for a 20% off discount. So those are some behind the scenes strategies, just some, some ideas that you can use this. Just sky's the limit inside Kajabi. There's a lot of things that you can use these tools for so I'm just kind of giving you some, some brainstorming ideas. Think outside the box and think how you can use this, this direct link, discount link auto applied in your business. All right. And that's how you set up Kajabi coupons to be automatically applied at checkout. With just a few clicks, you've made it easier for your audience to say yes to your offers. And that's what it's all about. If you're planning on giving this shortcut a try on your sales process, give this video a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more tips and tutorials to grow your online business. And remember, if you want to go deeper and get one-on-one -on -one support tailored to your unique business needs, I'd love to chat with you. Schedule your complimentary coaching session today using the link that's down below in the description. Together, we'll break through your roadblocks and create a plan to help you thrive on Kajabi. And remember, the key to success is keeping it simple, both for you and your audience. Keep learning, keep growing. Bye for now.